today's dentist's day. So, have you got him a card and a present? <laughs> you better not make that mistake in there. So welcome to today's vlog, or specifically, welcome to another episode in the Chapman family adventures in dentistry. <laughs> specifically, Amy, who's back at the orthodontist today, on what I've discovered is National Dentist's Day. I don't know if that's National Dentist's Day in the UK or America, it was just on the internet. Uh, any social media people will know, you have to know when your national days are. I have a national day calendar, so you can tweet about the right stuff with the right hashtags. Today's Dentist's Day. So, have you got him a card and a present? better not make that mistake in there. <laughs> um, but we're here at the orthodontist, or just around the corner from the orthodontist, and also, incidentally, around the corner from Lucy's work, but we'll give you no more information <laughs> about exactly, don't tell them which direction. Well, they they, they might recognise this wall and be able to identify <laughs> exactly where she works. Um, but you're just here for a checkup, aren't you? You've had your, how long have you had your blocks in now? Is it like three months? Mm, I so I think- I in like September, no. I'm sure it was later than that. I think it's- Wait, maybe. the half, there was a hot, so I go to school, and then there was a hot, the first so half like October time. time. So actually, it's been four or five months now with the blocks. So I don't know if this is going to be the halfway check-in, or whether it's a case of yep, they've done their job. Well, now we move on to I a brace. Went, I don't know what this means, but they said my mouth has gone from an eight to a four. I don't know what that means. Okay. But well, I'm I guess assuming that's good because they seem very impressed. Yeah. So I guess we need to go and find out. It, I guess it could mean. Brace today? Probably not brace today. I'm pretty sure they have to get like moulds. Okay, well maybe moulds. We'll see. Let's know. go and find out what's actually going on. We know we're here for a checkup. We don't know what specifically is going to go on. Yeah. Right, dentist trip complete, and we have big news. Yeah. Um, the blocks can now come out during daytime, can't they? Yeah. Um, so she's now got. A, she's still keeping the blocks for a little while, but they're just going to be in in the evening. So you've got to have them in from six o'clock ish through all the, uh, through the evening, overnight. Take them out in the morning. The idea being we're starting to prepare for when she can have the fixed brace put in so they can't just take the blocks out and put the brace in. So if they just take the blocks out It'll without just go back. Yeah, without phasing her off them, the her jaw will just go back to where it was before. So And if I don't wear them for long enough at night it'll get they'll get too small for my teeth. Yeah, exactly. So them. it's a, a gradual process. Her next appointment's in a couple of months, but between now and then it's just evenings and overnight and hopefully next appointment in May. I'll be able to not have these at all. That's the plan, and then I don't know when the brace, whether the braces will go in then, or maybe when we get back from holiday, because it's like two weeks before we go on holiday. Is your next appointment? So she could have a brace in time for Disney, which would be splendid. Yeah. Right, we need to get you to school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Morning's work done. We're now at the gym. I don't appreciate the fact that it's gone all cold and rainy. That's not what I signed up for, but ugh, at least we're at the gym. It's a good job Andy is after school club today because with the late start I had because of the dentist this morning, not a chance would we have made it to the gym today and got work done in time if it had been a normal day. So yay for after school club. We've made it back from the gym. Anna looks like she's sat about three feet behind me because apparently she can't use her legs anymore. No. So she has to sit right at the back yep. of the chair, feet up in the air. Um, I'm not up in the, I'm not that small. <laughs> <laughs> we went to the PO box on the way home and there's a big pile of things. Thank you to everybody who sent us things. Let's get stuck into them. Be obviously, the design, huh? obviously as usual, if there's anything with any of the kids' names on, we'll save it for when they're here. Otherwise, we will just get stuck into things. Oh, it's a little Rubik's Cube. If it's for real, he will never ever move it. Yeah, he doesn't, he does say he? the colour that it comes in. Yeah, he just likes to sit them <laughs> like that. In his room. And leave them completely untouched. I might just do that. Oh, don't, it wouldn't annoy it to him. him. No, no, he can fix that. He can work out how to fix that, surely. Maybe. I mean, he's no good to me because I'm colour blind. 
What, you can't tell any colours of them? Well, I can do some of them, but like red and green blurred together. <laughs> So that kind of makes it difficult. Let me know down in the uh, down in the comments if we've got any colourblind people who've ever successfully solved a Rubik's cube. Thank I you. believe it can be done. Yes, thank you. Whoever sent that. This one. That's why I had to pay three pounds for. Very sad, and it looks like the envelope burst open as well. This one worries me. Some love silver. There's oh, no. That is the light. There's no note. Uh, a fidget cube and a fidget spinner. Oh, this is so Thank you very much. Smell. But there's no name been put on it. Oh, I hate perfume. There is, isn't there? Is that a letter in there? Or is that? I'm not sure if it's a letter or more stuff from the Royal Mail. No, it's just the Royal Mail labels. Oh, Thank you, whoever sent Thank these you. things. They yeah. either was found open or damaged or officially opened. Apparently. Next bag. This one has a packing slip. Well, oh, it's from Chewy Gem. Oh. But I don't think it's directly from Chewy Gem because they send stuff to us at our house. So I think someone has bought something from Chewy Gem for oh, us. Okay. I mean, if this has come directly from Chewy Gem, thank you. If someone's bought this from Chewy Gem, <laughs> thank you to whoever's bought it. Uh, but it's a little Chewy Bangle thing. He's been using his last batch of Chewy stuff for loads, hasn't he? Mm. Um, he oh, loves them. He really does. Little Chewy Bangle. Excellent stuff. Yeah, um, chew on there. If you want to get some Chewy Gem stuff for yourself, we do have an affiliate link down in the description as well. So you they can, are really good. So you can get yourself some Chewy goodness. Because he doesn't eat his cloves anymore. Yes, excellent. Right, we have an Amazon package. <laughs> I think this is for you. <laughs> Show the camera what you've got. Um, so this is from Caitlin Hobbs. Hi Anna, I felt you deserved a gift, so here you go. You oh, and Kev are inspirations, you. and well done for how you've raised Andy. I know it can be tricky. My brother's autistic, and he's very much like Andy. Love from Kate. Oh, so these are uh, little Starlink things. This is a game on PlayStation, is it? Mm -hmm. is it? Yes, I never. It's Where you just kind of plug everything. these bits into the controller and make your controller into a spaceship. It's a mad game. <laughs> It is Which you're far too old to play, but you enjoy it. I, I'm not far old. Where does it say not not for old people? Nowhere. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, this one is a promising shape. Have you seen like some Twitch streamers? They're like 93 years old. I bet they get loads of viewers. Yeah, they do. They would do. We have a note from Caitlin Hubs. Hi, Kevin. That's me. Nice. Um, I love watching your videos and. Uh, Andy reminds me of my little brother, he has autism, it reminds me a lot of Andy. I'm my brother's main carer and I'm only 15 years old. I've also Aww. sent a box of crisps for Andy, love from Kate. Kate, thank you. And you have sent me a book. Thank you very much, bingo love. Bing. Yeah, I've heard about this, this is awesome. This is um, a couple who got together when they were young in like the 60s i think in yeah, 1963 these two girls got together when it was taboo yeah um, and then didn't meet again until they were pensioners at bingo and they <laughs> got back together that's mad it's wow. awesome but it, i think it was nominated for an eisner award thank you very much what what it's like the the oscars of comics uh what's it called eisner okay. right let's get stuck in here this is a Ooh. very securely packaged that box. That's not a nice noise in my ears. No, I don't understand what this is. It's a t-shirt, I think. A Hamburg shirt, I think, oh, specifically. Wow. I manage Hamburg on Football Manager. Oh, I think hey. someone sent me a... Uh, let's have a little look. <laughs> Kev told you so. That's amazing. And the story behind that, basically, is... Do um, not iron. Yeah, I went, I don't know, I my stuff anyway. The story behind that, basically, I left, I was managing Fulham, I left Fulham to manage Hamburg, everyone said I was wrong, and then we ended up, it ended up going really well. Kev told you so. I'll wear that in every video, I won't wear it in every video, because it will smell. I'll wear that in a video, for sure. Um, and now we have a big box oh with a, uh, a fragile sticker on, which, rather promisingly, the return address is the Kendall Candy Shop. Diets, we can't have candy. <laughs> Hopefully this is someone who works in the Kendall candy shop, but also grows fruit in their garden and just sends <laughs> a bushel of fruit. Food. Actually, I hope this is the crisps that Caitlin said she was sending. Oh, it is. It's a big box of Walker's crisps. Uh, oh, okay. But why a did they put box. it in so much tape? Was that from like... I don't know, I guess so. Wow. Yeah, 
Yes, it's secure. Yeah, it is a big box of Walker's crisps. Thank you very much, Caitlin. That is awesome. That will that will keep Andy in crisps for a little while. Interestingly, the bigger bags again. Yeah. Clearly, when you buy them loose, it's the bigger bags, and he does prefer the bigger bags. He always goes for the bigger bags rather than the smaller ones. So, I don't want to have to start buying them like no. this. I think it's quite an expensive <laughs> way to buy them. There's a note in here, so we can find out exactly how much it costs. Actually, that's not that's crazy not expensive, bad. is it? For 32 bags, we'll have to run the numbers. But um, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you to everyone who sent us toys and goodies and and we'll give him the. Crisps. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, he's late home tonight because he's at his after school club. But we'll just oh, pile, st we'll pile stuff up on his chair and he can discover. Is Dave already eating this? Trying to. You monster. <laughs> right, we need to get on because I've got some work to finish off in the hope that we can deal with the, uh, washer the washing machine situation because it's still in here. There's a very good chance it will still be in here this time tomorrow. But if I can get work done in time, we might just have time to sort it. Well, it's just about picking up Andy time. As you can see, there is still a washing machine in the room. That's because you were sat in your pants. And not That's because, anything. partly I was sat in my pants, scheduling the vlog and doing a few bits and pieces and we kind of ran out of time. But I'm going to blame Anna for it because she did put a load in the old washer. So. He's going to Haven. <laughs> yeah, Andy needs his uh, clothes washing ready for the weekend when he's at his rest bike. So he's at rest bike this weekend. So um, instead, we use the time productively. Um, well, you've been playing Fallout 76, which is quite productive oh, for you. So and yeah, exactly. I sat there and did some work. We've set up Andy's stuff for when he comes back. His new crisps, his new stuff from the PO box, and now we're going to go and pick him up in daylight. Which is awesome. Yeah, no, that goes all night. Yeah, daylight pickup. Marvellous stuff. I think this just about qualifies as still light outside. It seems darker than when we were here last week. Completely unacceptable. Hello! Have you had a good day? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yes, then. And was after school club fun? More? Do you want to do more? We yeah, can do more next week. We're not going to McDonald's. Yeah, Oh, and I've got a secret. Don't worry, yes, I'll tell you a lot later. No, then. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, no McDonald's today. What's he done at school? Anything super exciting? No, because that was last week, so. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, there's a letter. Two letters. He's a bit unsettled. This way sorted up on um, what? We have a black mountain Net. warehouse coat that looks like Andy's, but he is saying no coat today. Is it Andy's? Yeah, he's come out wearing it, hasn't he? Milk, eggs, chocolate spread for cooking. We have flour in school making pancakes. What, they're making pancakes on Friday? Awesome. He didn't want chocolate What's on the, the menu yesterday. Today is the fram, the, the, the sixth. It's yeah, so he went with a coat. Yeah, morning. he's just come out wearing a coat. He had yeah, coat but so I don't car. know what that's about. When... I don't know. Let's go home then. <laughs> okay, they we are going to go home. Mummy's just getting Milk confused eggs, with your chocolate book. spread. So you're making pancakes at school. Yeah. Excellent. Let's go home. Yeah. Lots of presents. Straight to the ball, to the, the cube. Look, you've got a new chewy. It's a new chewy. I put these crisps like Yes, you've got lots of big crisps. Mm -hmm. But you've got a cube. And you've got... A little cube, a spinner. And, the... and a chewy. Yeah. Is it all good? The end. What do you say? Thank you. Excellent stuff. And now I should probably make our dinner because we didn't have time to do it before. Because you were sat in pants. Because I was sitting in my pants. Our American viewers are thinking, so what? Sat in his pants. Why is that a problem? Let Andy do it. 
She's missed the point. What is it there completely, isn't she? <laughs> oh, it's trying <laughs> underwear then. <laughs> yeah, so I sat there just in my undergarments. Because it's comfortable and there was no I children in the house. I don't care, your bum smell is still around. That's an unpleasant thing to say to a man. You should love my bum smell. You should have bum smells then. Mm. You're a mean woman. He's off to bed now. This is what happens when we get home and have to cook dinner straight away. We don't have any time for any evening vlogging. So he's about to jump in the bath. He's just put his iPad on charge. It's eight o'clock already. So everyone say goodbye to Andy. Um, I've just been reading the comments on yesterday's vlog about my coffee cup from yesterday. Um, thank you for your concern, everybody. See, I do have coffee cups that aren't cracked and broken. I just, that one was the nearest one in the cupboard. It's a fallout one, we're not allowed to throw it away. Probably don't need to use it anymore, but it was there. It's fine, we do have unbroken cups. Um, but we are gonna leave things there today, I think. We have some news very soon about Andy's residential trip that he's going on in the summer, but I don't think that news is ready for today, because we just need to confirm a couple of the details first. But that was, that was the thing in the car. So that should be quite interesting. June, sort of late May early June is building up to be a big sort of three or four week period for Andy where he's potentially got obviously we're going on holiday he's got his residential trip with school and he's also got his longest ever trip to his respite all scheduled for that month he's going to spend more time in different beds than in his own bed that month I think is going to hit a point in June where he just has to be at home and decompress I hope we're not laying too much on too close together but I'm sure it'll work itself out. It's all stuff he wants to do, so hopefully it should be fine. But we will wrap things up there. If you have enjoyed today's vlog, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for us. Subscribe to the channel for more daily vlogs. And thank you very much for watching. And if you were wondering why we needed a new washing machine, that's the sound of the current one from the next room. It's pretty, uh, pretty loud.